My name is Teacher Meg, and I'm a teacher with Magic Ears. Well, you know, obviously. <laughs> if you're watching this video, you're probably thinking about applying with Magic Ears, have already applied, or you're already hired and you're scared to open up your schedule thinking, what am I going to do with four students in 25 minutes? Well, take a breather. <laughs> if you're anything like me, you've come from another online ESL company. And I'm not gonna name any, but most of them are only one-on-one. -on -one. You only have to focus on that one sweet student in front of you. Did little Baba show up 20 minutes into class? And eh, focus on the main points, skip around, see what you can get done in the time you have. Is your student having an especially hard time on the word yesterday? Spend five minutes on it. You've got time, right? Does little Bow Bow need to run to the potty? Have shirtless dad take the computer or tablet to the bathroom with them so we can keep the lesson moving. <laughs> How about that brand new bundle of happiness that's in your student's house that really wants to sleep, but also doesn't want to sleep and wants the whole house to know? It's okay, just ignore them. And the best ones, the students who just won't talk. Freeze that smile onto your face because nothing you do is working. <laughs> and then you do it again the next day and the next day and the next day with one student every day. Do I sound a little bit biased? <laughs> we'll get there. I'll explain a little bit about Magic Ears and how their platform works, what their rules are, not too much, but just enough to get my point across. So you've got 25 minutes with four students. You'd better move. And there is absolutely no slide skipping. Every slide with the Magic Ears curriculum serves a purpose. And when you start teaching enough of them, especially level one, they actually start getting predictable. And you do have to finish by 20 minutes and 30 seconds. Otherwise, it's a bottom lines issue. Obviously, you're teaching a whole new language. You have to make sure each student gets a little bit of your individual attention because otherwise you can't make corrections, you can't hear them properly. They kind of feel left out being, you know, just thrown into the mix. And that's just not fair. So if one kid has an especially hard time on a word, just keep in mind that there are three other students waiting their turn. And if there is nudity of any kind, you have to turn the cameras off and report it. There is a zero noise policy, absolutely no noise. And if there are, you mute and report it. And if one kid is nervous and just won't talk, there are so many more options you can provide before just accepting that that student just won't be talking today. You can try bringing Magic Cube and Shy Betty up together to read the same sentence. It's much less intimidating to read or do something new when there's a friend right next to you. You can try moving them around the screen. With the Magic Ears platform, you can move every single one of those cameras. And the change of scenery actually makes it a little bit more fun and they're more willing to give it a try if they get to do something new. And my personal favorite is make it a contest. <laughs> and if uh, someone over here is getting a trophy for doing something that someone over here obviously could could have done but just didn't want to talk, they're much more willing to give it a try because they get that extra praise. That makes them much more willing. Now, in the cases that all of that doesn't work, you're always going to have one student or one child. Everyone has off days. They just, they're not feeling it today and that's okay. Just, you know, accept that it's going to happen. If you are hired with magic ears, you're an amazing teacher and believe in that. You just, it's, don't take it personally if a student's just not in the mood today. Now, a personal story. Don't worry, it's a short one. I, with my other company, thought I could do both at the same time. It'll work itself out, right? Wrong. <laughs> I finished with a Magic Ears class and then had to go back to my other company, and I was just so bored. I, it was, it was so hard to go from go 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 to. Go, go. <laughs> I had to slow myself down mentally, physically, and it was just so difficult to understand that I don't have four students that <laughs> have to get all of my attention. The first day I had done it, I finished my one on one class almost 12 minutes early, and I was 
like on the last three sides and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Granted, I did figure it out, but it was so, so difficult. The Magic Ears platform is just so much more fun. There's no other word for it. It's just fun. Magic Ears teachers are branded as being smiley, entertaining, and generally just having a good time. And you never ever want to go into a classroom with this face because this is bad. This is against the bottom lines. This is not passion. You, you can't show that you're excited and have a face like this. Does this seem fun to you? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. So give the Magic Ears application and interview your best effort because working with Magic Ears and their family has been the greatest decision that I've made. And I wouldn't want it any other way. <laughs> See you next time.